Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Super Review, episode 117, The Shadow of Love, Androids vs. Universe 2, guys. Um, yeah, guys, pretty much this episode was kind of a filler, boring kind of episode. There was some one or two interesting parts about this um, episode, but pretty much I think this this review for sure is going to be really short, guys. I think less than five, maybe ten minutes for sure. Um, not too much to talk about. Um, again, this was just a filler episode to get the androids involved. And finally, the big, what everyone has finally, finally waited for. And no, I am not talking. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. And no, I am not talking about um, Vegeta unlocking Ultra Instinct. It is Rip Rian finally getting knocked out, guys. Um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm texting somebody. It is about freaking time, guys. Rip Rian was just really annoying. <laughs> hated every everyone hated her. Everyone in the mothers hated her. And finally, guys, this episode prolonged that made it. They stretched it out all the way to, in the end. But finally, guys, spoiler alert, by the way, we saw Rip Rian finally get knocked out, which I was happy, excited about. And what better way than love than Android number 18 taking out Rip Rian. Uh But no, guys, that's that's pretty much that episode. Um, but I think the big thing was Vegeta trying to unlock Ultra Instinct. Um, we finally saw once Vegeta knew what Ultra, what Goku was using Ultra Instinct, we saw Vegeta getting frustrated. So I know there are people out there saying Vegeta has, has already unlocked Ultra Instinct, or maybe he doesn't know. It was the same thing with the first episode or with Goku first unlocking Ultra Instinct. Goku didn't know he was using Ultra Instinct until he was being told. So maybe Vegeta, Vegeta probably thinks he doesn't have Ultra Instinct. Um, but maybe he does. Again, we, we're not sure. We're hoping that Vegeta does have it. He just wants to unlock it by him him knowing that he's doing it. Um, I guess that's how Ultra, Ultra Instinct works the first time. You don't know until you're told. And then now finally you know how to, you know when you're using it. Um, so that was basically, um, I think that was probably one of the cool, cooler parts and not the cooler coolest part of this episode. Vegeta trying to unlock unlock ultra instinct as he goes and it was pretty cool just watching vegeta getting pounded after a good 10 seconds and everyone was um on what's it called krillin um tn master Roshi, like what's going on with vegeta why doesn't he attack or defend himself and um Whis finds out or learns or figures out um better better than yet better saying that <laughs> um Whis figures out that vegeta is trying to unlock ultra instinct like goku so it's interesting now that Whis is now going to be looking at vegeta going further in these episodes and let's see if vegeta i think everyone's going to be keeping an eye, a closer eye out now at vegeta and seeing if he's able to unlock it and i have a feeling guys by the end of this um tournament if not maybe the last two episodes i'm calling it right now guys vegeta is going to unlock ultra instinct and it's going to be freaking amazing, guys. I'm calling it. He's not going to need any, like, super, in, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Any, like, enhance, enhancements or any any uh, third-party energy to unlock Ultra, Ultra Instinct, unlike Goku did, which I hate, by the way. If you guys watch my reviews on that, you already know how I hate how Goku unlocks Ultra Instinct. But I have a feeling, guys, I think Vegeta is going to unlock Ultra Instinct, um by him just being vegeta and i think that's how it's gonna be um yeah that was only like a good a, a minute of this episode um uh, again guys this episode to me was just a filler episode to get rip Rian finally out of this damn tournament which again everyone is liking we saw some team up um between um number 17 and 18 teaming up against rip Rian and um god i forgot the other chick's name the other worthless um Warrior, she has been eliminated. So we have three warriors left from Universe Two. Um, again, again, guys, again, it's not all about power. This tournament, there's two ways of winning it. It's either last man standing, or when time runs out, do you, does J Universe have the most uh, members still um, um, active? So as of right now, um, Universe Two is beating out Universe Six. 
um, Champa's universe only has two members left, the Namekians, and universe two Helens, uh, Helenas, uh, Helen, I think that's her name, has three warriors. Left. So as as of right now, if the tournament were to lose, or were to, and of course those two universes were being knocked out, but if we were going to say which universe was to survive first, universe two guys, because again, it's three versus two. Um, but yeah, again, guys, this episode was uh, not too much. Don't really know too much to say. Um, it's more of a love, useless, boring episode without some little cool little hints going forward in this arc. Um, we didn't see any Jiren, no Frieza, um, Topo, or Dispo for that matter. Um, I think Universe 4, we didn't see any, anything from them. Um, Goku, Alastanima. So, again, guys, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a quick, maybe five, ten minute review. I don't know what I'm at right now. I want to say maybe a little, little more than five minutes. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't want to prolong this too much. Again, guys, this is a boring episode for me. I wasn't really looking forward to it too much. I just saw some little things about Vegeta unlocking Ultra Instinct. So, that was the only reason why I really watched this episode. And then that, I was like, yeah, whatever. It gave me episode 118. And we'll see that. Um, but hey, guys, let me know in the comment sections of what you thought of this episode. Did you like it? Or did you agree with me? Filler, useless episode. You, we really didn't need it. Other than the fact that we saw Vegeta trying to unlock Ultra Instinct. And our favorite character, guys. The one we wanted to survive in the end. Rip Rian loses. All the universes are now going to pumble. We're, what's love now, guys? What's the meaning of love? I don't understand, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, i'm gonna make that as my title what is the meaning of love what is love um but yeah guys i hope you guys like this review um let me know comments and let me know in the comment sections what you guys think if you want give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as always guys no more rip around guys it's amazing let's party 4th of july next year um uh, new year's eve in a couple of months or a couple of weeks let's get this party started guys <laughs> peace out guys